Good day, my fellow Thardings. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Thardings family. I pray that you like what you hear and that you like, comment, and subscribe. This part five and final video is a continuation on how I got scammed doing body sculpting. If you or someone you know is interested in a body sculpting class, listen to my story before you make a final decision. Then become a know me story. I got you covered, my darling. So much drama has happened that I literally had to make a video via literally video number five on all the foolishness that I have encountered um, in this business slaving with this con artist. Mind you, this is a part five, five video series. So if you happen to be watching this video first, go back and watch part one, two, three, and four. That way you, you understand what it is that I'm talking about in this part five. Okay. Um, also, if you can if you can kindly follow me at on Instagram at Elaine underscore CD11 to give you an insight on what I do on a daily basis. Without further ado, my bad for the long intro. Let's continue in with the shenanigans. In part three, I talked about how the con artist was all about collecting money. She didn't care about the employees nor the clients, which is sad because, mind you, treatments are being provided. And it's important that the clients understand how the body is metabolizing fat. Each week, it was with her, it was the same script. Who has a remaining balance? How much money does she owe? If they don't pay, don't touch them. Money, money, money was all that was the only thing that was on her mind. Don't get me wrong. Of course, being a small business owner, you need to know how much money is coming in, how much money is coming out. I get it. Of course, I'll give her that. But you do not need to be calling me every five, ten minutes to see how much money the business has made. That could be the end of the, end, either the middle or the end of the day. That's that's so annoying when I have to be rendering to care to the clients and then I'm on the phone with you, um, giving you the same answer over and over again. I'm telling you, no exaggeration. None at all. She was just money hungry and it was just like literally trying to get the top banking all off of everybody else, pretty much. Although I wasn't there long in terms of like lengthwise, like like time wise, but I was there long enough to hear the way that she speaks to the clients. With slimmer clients, there isn't too much to say to them but just to drink water and come in for about four to six sessions. But the heavier clients now, it's a different story. She would say different things such as, yeah, you're pretty big and you need, and you need to have at least 15 to 20 treatments or sessions. Um, if you don't have the money, then don't bother coming back. Yes, don't bother coming back after this session. Yeah, you want to look good, but guess what? I want to get paid. Yes, straight up. That's the way that she would talk to them. And I didn't like that because how are you going to make them feel good or confident about themselves? You know? It was never, okay, you know, what are your eating habits? How much water are you drinking? What kind of exercise are you doing for how long? Because exercise helps enhance the treatments. But if you have to understand, but you have to understand that if she tells them that, guess what? They're going to take you to follow what she does. And guess what? They're going to stem down, stop feeling good about themselves and may not want to come back for treatments, which means that she's going to stop getting paid. So I can understand why she spoke to them in a sense, but probably not that way. But she's a carnage and she needs to be controlling it in every which way that she can. With that being said, I've never been there. I haven't been there like less than three months, but probably like less than three months. And I've never heard her turn on a client due to health reasons. For example, if you think about even me pregnant, that's one. You cannot be seen. If you have kidney or liver problems, you cannot be seen. Serological conditions cannot be seen. High blood pressure cannot be seen. Uncontrolled diabetes, you cannot be seen. Even cancer, you cannot be seen. Like they cannot be using ultrasonic um, cavitation treatments. And you should definitely not be receiving treatments while you are on your menstrual cycle. Mind you, this is being an ultrasound, so you cannot be doing this kind of thing. She never reviewed their medical history. The only thing that she, um, the only thing she had on file was what, the, what their remaining balance was. Never about their well-being or whether or not they were, like, progressing or getting better. You know, just, just overall making progress and seeing the results that they want. Yes, what a shame. I never I never heard things um, like that from some own peace of mind. I'm like, you know what? I had just had to walk away from, from her business. I enjoy this field, and I'm currently working with another business that is and it's like night and day compared to her business here are a few of the instructions that i hear them discuss with the clients first thing first drink plenty of water but do not drink alcohol and please do not binge eat you may experience hunger cravings because a lot of fat has been metabolized and your body is not used to that so you have to fight the hunger pains if you have any and stick to good eating habits second to keep things short and sweet Exercise if possible. 
Remember, a large amount of fat has been dumped into the circulatory system in your body. Uh, and it's important that you burn all that you can to, to prevent it from restoring. With drinking plenty of water, at least 32 ounces a day, is major key um, in order to see results from the ultrasonic cavitation. And to end this part of my video, I'll be answering questions that I got um, in the comment section um, from parts one, two, and three. Well, and four. <laughs> I do completely regret. Do I completely regret the field? No, it's it's great, but just working. It's just not great working with her. Um. Next, why didn't you? Why didn't I would or the clients report her? I don't like getting people in trouble, and I guess um the clients felt the same way of reporting her. So I guess they just figured they're just gonna just get whatever they paid for, get service, and then just get out of there. Um. Did I ever get free services from her? No, I did not. Um. If I do want services, I would have to go in there and pay full price just like everybody else. Um, yes. Did I ever try to sue her? No, because I'd rather be the bigger person and walk away than to cause more trauma. I said to myself, she knows what she did was wrong and I believe in karma. Remember, I'm a child of the Most High God. I know who I serve and I know that seeking revenge so that we can be even, that that's not right. So I said to myself, you know, um, forget about it. She's, she's an evil person and it's not even worth the hassle. Um, on that note, I want to thank you for watching this series all the way to the end. I pray that you um, take heed to the warning that I'm giving you. I also pray a special prayer for the people that need to hear this, watches these videos, and listens to the tips that I'm giving to you throughout these series. May God bless you in a special way. And um, if you choose to do body sculpting, happy sculpting, and welcome to the sculpting family. And I do hope that you do the things the right way and not bend the rules because you want to be nice. Like I wanted to be nice, you know. But anyway, I've discussed that in other videos before. And have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching. Kisses to you, my darlings.